What is up guys, it is Epsilon Gaming here and I am back with another How to Code a Minecraft plugin tutorial. In this video I'm going to be teaching you guys about configuration files and how to edit them without editing or how to edit messages or whatever without editing the actual code of the plugin. So I'm going to be doing another MOTD plugin. If you made the one from the first video you can edit that but I'm going to be making a new one for all the newcomers and new watchers in this video. So let's make a new Java project and let's name it MOTD and I'm going to name it MOTD1 since I already made this plugin. And now don't hit finish, hit next libraries, add external jars and add the jar that you should have got from the first video. I use Spigot 1.8 so that's what you should be using too or 1.7.9. Now that we have this we have the YouTube MOTD1 with an SRC file. In the SRC file, let's make a new package. So right click new package, then me.jpriani13.motd. I named it MOT. Let me just edit that. And MOTD. Now let's make the actual class where we'll be coding. This is the same as any other plugin you make. So if you already made this plugin, you don't really have to do this. You could just edit it. But if I'm going too fast now, I suggest you watch video number one. I'll explain why you make a new package class and all this good stuff. So now let's name the main class MOTD and hit finish. So now this is the class where we'll actually be coding. So public class MOTD extends Java plugin. And since there's going to be a player join event, which will mean we'll need a listener. So let's do implements. Listener. listener. Now let's import those. And we're ready to start coding. So I said this video is going to be about config files and how to edit that. So we're going to need to make a config file. So let's go to the SRC, right click, new file, config.yml, and hit enter. And that's all we need to do for there right now. So now let's do our on enable, so public void on enable. And this will be when the server starts. Open a bracket and hit enter. Now that we're here, let's we have to get the config. Get config dot copy dot options dot copy defaults true. So this is saying when the server starts, if there's no config file whatever we have in here when we make the plugin we'll copy into the actual server and we'll set that up later and then let's save the config save config and then we could send a logger message if we want so bucket dot get server dot get logger dot info MOTD is enabled and that's that I don't need an on disable for this video, so I'm not going to make it just to save time and show you guys the actual plugin. So let's make an event, an event now. So at event handler, which is now saying that an event will be here. So public void on player join. That's just the name of whatever. That doesn't matter really. And then open parentheses. So it would be player join event and then E. This is the actual event, and this is what you'll use to call the event. So let's import that, import event handler. Don't forget your bracket and hit enter. So now this will run when a player joins the server. So let's get the player now. So it would be player p equals e, which is the event, dot get player. And I name it P since it's short and easy. You can name it whatever you'd like. That's just what you're going to use when you want to do something to the player. So import player. Now we want to send them a message. So what you could do is you could just do player send message and then get config, get string, then message. But I'm going to make it so you can use color codes in your config. So let's do string message equals get config dot oh open close parentheses dot get string 
and then it would be MOTD and hit your semicolon to stop that and now let's go make an MOTD message in the config so go to the config and this will be what the default MOTD message is which you can edit later so type MOTD colon space and then whatever you want to type so let's just say subscribe to my YouTube and hit an exclamation point now when a player joins the server he will be sent the message saying subscribe to my YouTube now let's go back here and since we want to use color codes we have to use string send equals chat color dot translate alternate color codes and now this will be what string we're getting it from so it'll be a single quotation mark and what we'll use for the color usually it's n7 and 8 so we're just going to use end the end symbol and then comma and what string we want to translate so it would be message and end it with a semicolon so now this right here is what you put right here but it can use color code so let's make it end a subscribe to my end b youtube and now it'll send in green subscribe to my and in aqua youtube and that is all for that actually i forgot we have to actually send it to the player so now it'd be p player dot send message and then just send since that's the string we made a string can be is a message in game so it would be send player and that is it for a player join event now what i can do is i can also make it so we can edit the config from an in-game command so what we're going to do is make a command so it'd be public boolean on command command sender sender command cmd string command label string open and close bracket args so that's just getting all the information that we get from the command so let's import all of that make sure you import the org bucket command not material and let's make it return false because any boolean needs a return statement so let's hit enter here and get started so if cmd dot get name dot equals ignore case and let's just say set MOTD so now we're gonna set the MOTD from an in-game command I'll be teaching you guys about permissions next plugin so we're just gonna make it so anyone can do this right now if you want it to be a permission just wait for the next video or you could type if p oh, sender dot is op equals true and then you could open another bracket but I'm not going to do that in this video because I'm not teaching permissions or right now so if the command is set MOTD we have to make it so we're getting the arguments that they want the MOTD to be so if args dot length equals zero so if there's no args let's return that false so open a bracket let's say sender dot send message chat color dot red plus you need to specify a MOTD and close your bracket and let's return that false and now if it's not zero like we have to make a string builder to combine all the arguments and make a new string so it would be string builder str you can name it whatever you want str I just prefer since it's short and easy equals new string builder 
put a space after new string builder open and close parenthesis and a semicolon. Now what this is saying is we just made a new string builder called str and I spelled builder wrong. So now we want to get all the arguments from that the player sent. So we'll do for int i and integer i equals zero semicolon i is less than args dot length semicolon i plus plus. So this is getting all the args that are bigger than zero, like all the args that are greater. Actually, this is just getting all the args that the player sends. And then we open a bracket. Now string dot, no wait, str dot append. It would be args i plus two quotes with a space. So this is saying for integer i, this is getting all the integers that the this is getting all the arguments that the player sent and making them into argument i. <clears throat> Down here what we're doing is taking all the arguments that the player sent, appending them, which means combining them, and spacing them or separating them with a normal space. So if a player typed slash set MOTD help or welcome to my server, welcome to my server are four different arguments. So what this is doing is it is taking all four and making it into one, separated by spaces. And that is all we have to do for the string builder. So let's close that bracket. And now let's make the string builder into a normal string. So string set MOTD equals str dot two string. Now what this is doing is it's taking whatever was here and just making it to a normal string to send the player. In this case, it's going to set the config file to that too. So let's get the config. So it'd be get config, open and close parentheses, dot set, and then open parentheses. And then whatever you named this, I suggested MOTD, type that in parentheses, MOTD, then outside of the parentheses, comma, set MOTD. So what that's doing is it's taking whatever MOTD equals, which is here, and setting it to whatever you typed in set MOTD. Now, say you type set MOTD, welcome to my server, this would change to welcome to my server. And we can't forget to save the config. And close the line with a semicolon. Now let's send the sender a message saying what he set the MOTD to. So send sender, we sent the command dot send message chat color dot let's just do aqua plus MOTD set to space and then plus set MOTD. So this is just telling the sender what he set the MOTD to. And that is all for this plugin. We have to make the plugin dot YML though, let's not forget. And we have to, what I forgot to do, is register the on player join event in on enable. So let's type on the on enable bracket bucket dot get server dot get plugin manager dot register events this comma this and close that with a semicolon. So that's saying this will now run when a player joins the server. And since it's a listener and we register the event, when a player joins, it, they will send whatever is in here. So, when a player types set MOTD, if it's greater than arg0, it will send, it will set whatever is in here to whatever they typed, and it'll tell them what it now is. So now that we did that, we don't have to return true, but I'd like to, just so we know it all worked well. Now let's make the plugin.yml. New file plugin.yml. So it would be name. 
version main author and commands. So name will be MOTD, version will be 1.0, the main will be whatever your package and file name is, so it'd be me.jpranny13 dot MOTD dot MOTD. The author would be your name and the commands. Now we're gonna hit enter and space it twice and type set MOTD and put a semi and put a colon. And then hit enter again, space it two more times. The usage would be slash command and then description would be set the MOTD, which is the message of the day. And then now let's give this plugin a go. So let's export it. Next, MOTD, finish, and OK. If you got a little confused at any part of this, then please watch the first or second videos. I'll teach you all about exporting, doing the initial whatnot. And if you're getting an error in here, that's because I added an extra bracket. Just delete that. I believe that's all. Yeah, just delete that extra bracket. That will be highlighted in red, and we're ready to go. So let's export that again. And let's test it out. So let's open the server. Plugins. Let's delete the old MOTD. And drag the new one in. And let's reload it. Now MOTD is enabled right there. Let's join the server, which I'm already on. Let's leave. Come back and join. I guess it didn't say subscribe to my YouTube. So let's do set MOTD high. MOTD is set to high. Disconnect. Let's reconnect. And it says high. So now let's set MOTD, and see, subscribe, ND2, and see, my ND YouTube. So MOTD set to subscribe to my YouTube, and to subscribe to my YouTube. So that is all guys, if, <clears throat> if you like the video, please like, comment, subscribe, and if you have any requests for future videos, please let me know what you'd like to see. Thank you guys and goodbye.